Hey guys and girls, I am your host, the J Man, and welcome to my YouTube video. This time we're going to be talking about Spider Man and mostly the comic book storylines. And I'm going to be giving some of my opinion and insight into the stories and uh, a few story arcs in particular. First one I want to talk about is called The Other. And this storyline um, I particularly did not like whatsoever. I thought it was a bad story. Um, what I didn't like about it was mostly the fact that it uh, retold the uh, origin powers of Spider-Man. It wasn't really a, a retelling of his origin. It was mostly just uh, describing the uh, properties of his power and saying that his powers are more mystical than science related. You know, going back in the history of Spider-Man stories, and if you know about his origin, he was bit by a radioactive spider which uh, changed his DNA, giving him uh, uh, superpowers, spider-like powers. He would be able to uh, climb and stick to walls and other surfaces, and um, he was able to, uh, he had a sixth sense, you know, the spider sense that alerted him to things around him. Um, and the super strength, the uh, spider-like strength, okay? So he got all those powers, and those were science-based powers, basically, because they, they altered his DNA, because it's the DNA that existed in the spider, combined with the radioactivity, um, transferred into his bloodstream, okay? So that was the history of Spider-Man. His powers were always science-related, and his, um, the evolution of his DNA continued, and, and things happened to him. But in this storyline called The Other, it, uh, it's talking about how Spider-Man's powers are based on a deity of a spider, or a, a totem, as it uses that term to describe his um, powers as a more mystical element, as if there's some sort of uh, spirituality involved in his link to the deity or the totem of a spider, okay? And I thought this was very weird and um, un-Spider-Man-like, uncharacteristic of the, of, uh, the nature of Spider-Man stories, which are always science-related, it seems. And uh, this one just kept referring to him as having this inner spider inside him, like part of his being was, or half of his being was... Um, a spiritual spider like uh, it's really weird like as a, an actual spider creature existed inside of him and I thought that was I thought that was stupid I didn't like it at all um, and then the death and rebirth kind of made no sense and was very um, I say this uh, uneventful it, it just you know there was no reason for him to die and be reborn the way he was uh, I didn't like it. And now, with the events of One Moment in Time, the storyline that explains the events from the storyline One uh, one More Day, um, the powers that he got when he became the other Spider-Man, uh, those seem to have vanished or, or somehow they're being ignored. And uh, So that just makes the, that storyline called uh, The Other, it makes it all the more insignificant. And I thought it was a really creepy, strange story anyway, the way Spider-Man actually became kind of like a spider. And, you know, this is just taking what happened previously in the storyline, saying that he turned into a man spider, and that was based on the evolution of his DNA. But this time he turned into a spider, a spider-like creature, based on some deity or some uh, totem. And it's just a really weird, creepy storyline how um, he shed his skin and then he was reborn inside of a cocoon and spiders don't even build cocoons so um, that, that was horrible. I really, really disliked that. Alright, and make sure you join me for my next video where I'll be talking about the uh, One More Day and One Moment in Time storylines and how they um, affect the future of Spider-Man and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.